So, Coach, uh, just tell us uh, a great come from behind win today. You end up uh, one point down six to nothing, but you guys kept battling and fought back. And then Oakland native Darius Foster hit the big three-run home run, then Munoz homered as well. And Keyshaw went three for four at the plate uh, this afternoon. Your thoughts of today's game? Yeah, you know, B, um, really happy for Darius to have that kind of a performance, three-hit performance today, a double, the score is three, a solo home run, and a, a butt for a base hit. Uh, Darius got his chance to play today, and he really proved he, he can help us. So uh, really happy for him. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, uh, yeah. I thought Keisha, Keisha was great. Got a chance to rest him on Sunday for like five or six innings, and I think it really helped him. Um, so I was excited about the, the way he played. And then, boy, the way that Winkler played defense was uh, phenomenal today. So that that was a big difference in the game. Um, still got a lot of room for improvement, improvement. walking nine guys and, and still winning today and uh, having that collapse in the sixth inning where we gave up six runs, five walks, four hits, uh, and a misplayed ball in right field by Vujovic. So tough day. So, I mean, if you take away at least half of those walks, the uh, game would have been totally 360 different, would not even quite be close. Yeah, but you know what? You, you have to look at the whole game, and uh, we end up scoring seven, which we need to do every day if we want to win at the college level, and we only gave up six. Um, I thought Sam pitched great. Uh, Jesse Barron pitched out of some trouble there in the ninth. It really helped us, so. Uh, exci- excited to be able to come away with the win uh, at that at that moment. Seven unanswered runs to be exact, and really it was Foster. It did, I mean, it did look like it was a it was going to be in a loss column, but really it was Foster, Keyshaw, and Munoz bell bailed you out today, and they did it in a big time. And then you know, then the bullpen after you know Stevenson, Jones, Fam, and Barron just uh, held them held them down to, to no earned runs the rest of the day. Yeah, you know, it's been tough for us. We've played from behind um, probably seven of the eight games that we've had this year, and uh, we've ended up winning four of those, but we just keep playing from behind. It makes it really tough on us. Yeah. All right, Coach, congratulations on the, on the win. Both. Yeah, B. Thanks, buddy. But. With the win, the USF Dons improved their record to 4-4, four and four, while the Fresno State Bulldogs dropped to 2-2. Two and two. USF Dons Baseball is presented by San Francisco Toyota. At San Francisco Toyota, we know that a vehicle purchase is a very, very important decision. With that in mind, we ensure a very comfortable, no-pressure environment for our clients. Our number one goal is to help our client purchases a car rather just sell them a car. Visit two San Francisco Toyota locations at 3800 Gary Boulevard and 1701 Venice Avenue in San Francisco. Please visit their websites at sftoyota.com. That's sftoyota.com. San Francisco Toyota has been serving the Bay Area since 1966. The USF Dons will be back in action for a four-game weekend series Another back-to-back double home-and-home home series, two against the Stanford Cardinals down at down the farm at Stanford Sunken Diamond Thursday and Friday afternoons at 2 p.m. Then they'll wrap it up Saturday and Sunday back on the hilltop, 2 p.m. on Saturday, Sunday afternoon at 1. For the latest news on USF Dons Athletics, go to usfdons.com. I'm Brian Professor B. Davis for your USF Dons Baseball Update.